I think poetry, the real danger of poetry is that it creates empathy. So it puts you, it puts the reader, it puts the poet who is writing the poems in into his own world, her own world, and that the reader becomes part of that world. So the reader comes out of himself, out of herself, into the world of the poet. And the poet maybe is someone you don't agree with. Uh, maybe is someone you disapprove of or is writing something you disapprove of. But the, I think, for me, the act of writing a poem, the act of reading a poem, is a moral act because it does take you out of yourself. It does open up your own understanding of what other people are, th are, are thinking and feeling. So uh, I think this is a good thing, but if you are in a, <laughs> if you are a government or you, if you are someone in control who wants everyone to think the way you do, then poets are very dangerous. Uh, it's true that I, uh, I myself as a poet, uh, don't use metaphors a lot. I am interested in, in a, in a poetry that is, uh, that has a colloquial language. But I also think at the same time that a whole poem has to be a metaphor is a metaphor, so that even if I'm not using metaphorical language, po quote unquote, poetic language, if I'm not using the language of poetry, I'm still creating something in the poem that is essentially a metaphor. So if I am writing about my own experience, or if I am inventing a character who is talking about his experience or her experience, the whole experience becomes a metaphor. And uh, I think that can be very powerful, it could be very moving, uh, can be very funny, uh, but that even though the language isn't metaphorical, the idea of a metaphor is something very deeply inherent in the act of, uh, of creating a poem.